Hi guys, so we are one day away from an absolutely amazing event held in Dubai and of course I'm talking about King of the Table 6. Just looking at the card you can already tell that the event is going to be amazing. Uh, I mean Lavon versus Hermes, uh, John versus Dennis and Pablo versus Sabine. Uh, incredible matches, incredible athletes uh, are going to attend the uh, event itself and I highly recommend you all to go purchase the pay-per-view and watch it for yourself links in the description below uh, and be a part of history of course the number one guy is fighting in my opinion the number two guy uh, which is Levon the number one guy versus uh, Hermes the number two guy uh, it's going to be incredible and I'm going to be just talking a bit about the matches and letting you know what my thoughts are so the first match that I'm going to be talking about is Levon versus Hermes and this match by itself is incredible I mean it's the fight for the number one spot in the world at least for Hermes but for Levon, it's a fight to keep his title as the strongest arm wrestler in the world, currently, of course. And even though Hermes has the best shot at beating Levon, I still think that he's not going to be able to do that. I think Levon is still too strong for him. Uh, Hermes might be able to win one or two rounds, but him to, for him to beat Levon is going to be um, super hard, and I think he won't be able to do it. But I think the match itself is going to come down to whose wrist and rising is going to hold up the most and whose cupping and rising holds up the most is going to win. And uh, I think that in every match it's going to go into a strap. It's practically unavoidable as both of these athletes are actually top rollers. And we all know that top roll versus top roll most of the time goes into a strap. Um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I think we just have to wait and see how these athletes have prepared and are they ready for each other. It's going to be super interesting and I can't wait to see it. The next match is John versus Dennis. Uh, this match is almost, if not equally as incredible as the Levant versus Edemis match, as both of these athletes have been in arm wrestling for so long and they are considered one of the biggest legends of the sport and they are one of the most recognizable figures of arm wrestling that I think a lot of people have heard of. And it's incredible that after so many years they are going to have a match against one another again and I think that this match is going to come down to endurance as both of these athletes are going to try to um, gain position as the match starts and I don't think anybody is going to go for a flash pin uh, at least they're not known to go for a flash pin maybe they, they've changed their tactics a bit I, I don't know but I also think that it's going to be super interesting to see who's going to win. Uh, I think that Dennis is going to win, as I think that Dennis is stronger and has more endurance as of right now than John. Um, I don't think that John is going to be able to endure through the whole match. Um, I think that as soon as they get into a strap, that's when Dennis's game will begin. Uh, and that's when he will start to bleed out John. And I don't think that John is going to be able to have enough endurance to uh, kind of go through the whole match um, He might be able to get one or two pins on Dennis, but that's about it I think that uh, Dennis will definitely win this match and the last match that I'm going to be talking about is Pablo versus Sabine uh, Honestly, I have no clue how this match is going to go I don't know which of the athletes is stronger who has better technique who has better endurance um, but all I know that Pablo beat uh, Paul in pre pretty easily uh, and I know that Sabine has been training with the Bulgarian uh, arm wrestling legend Svetan Gashevsky um, and yeah I think that it's going to be an interesting match as well uh, Pablo has been kind of uh, on the scene recently he, he is uh, looking super strong and Sabine is coming back into arm wrestling so super exciting stuff guys I highly recommend you to go and buy the pay-per-view I am going to leave a link in the description below where you can purchase it but that is going to be it for today's video guys uh, those were my predictions for the King of the Table 6 event uh, I'm super interested to see what you guys think and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below I'll be reading them all if you like the video give it a like subscribe it really does help the channel out and I will see you all in the next video bye